the coronavirus. I don't know about you, but the coronavirus is affecting my sobriety. I'm used to going to face-to-face -face meetings three to four times a week, but that's basically been taken away from me here in Ottawa. 50, 50 to 60% of the meetings have been shut down. Either the groups have shut them down or the facilities that the groups are held in have been closed. And we all been talking about this pandemic of the coronavirus. So how, how do you cope with the coronavirus in recovery? Well, first of all, my meeting wasn't one of the meetings to shut down. Last Sunday, we had the meeting. We're thinking on shutting it down, but we haven't decided yet. Last week, we had the meeting. We took precautions. And what we did is we put the chairs three feet apart. We wiped everything down with wipes. Even the literature we wiped down, believe it or not. We went crazy, all of us. We wiped down the doorknobs, the kitchen handles, everything we could to sanitize the place and help our members not get the awful coronavirus. And we had an open discussion meeting, so we didn't really have to pass any of the literature around anyways. We had the meeting, it went over fine. When we did the responsibility pledge in the Lord's Prayer, we just simply remained seated and we just recited it. We just said it out loud. But if you don't wanna just sit, sit there, you can stand up and lock elbows and say the Lord's Prayer or the responsibility pledge if you have that in your group. In the auto area, that is very, very popular. Another thing you can do, if you're afraid to go to meetings, you can go on Facebook and there's lots of recovery groups out there on Facebook so you can I put a few links below that can link you directly to those groups you can be become a member of those groups and just you know talk like on like you would at a meeting and just talk about your concerns and about your recovery there's a lot of participation in a lot of those groups so you get a lot of great information you can voice your concerns of what's going on and let me tell you people from all around the world will will give their opinion and they'll talk to you about it. There's also forums out there that are a little more interactive than Facebook groups. They're like on real time, you put something out there and people get right back to you very, very quickly. So I put a few links to that, that below too. There's another thing you can do is you, what I've been doing, you can reach out to your friends and fellow members on your cell phone you can have conference calls maybe three to four people i don't know about you but i think i can have up to three people conference call on my cell phone so you can have a mini meeting i've been reading a lot of their literature and recovery staying connected reaching out to people in my contact list on my cell phone members in recovery i've been reaching out on a regular basis i am not stopping the connection in recovery we are stopped going to face-to-face -face meetings, but there's a lot of other things we can do to stay connected. In these troubling times, we can still stay involved indirectly. This coronavirus will pass. It might be a couple more weeks. It might take a month or maybe even take two, but it will pass and things will return back to normal. But in the meantime, it's no reason to drink, it's no reason to stop practicing your program, taking it one day at a time, and if you can, what I would strongly suggest, reach out, take precautions. If you feel that you have a cold or you're not feeling well, by no means go to the meetings, stay home, but call people, stay connected, stay connected, okay? Keep active a little bit for myself. I'm walking, I'm getting out there. I'm not going to the gym because even those facilities are closed. So, you know, doing some exercise can help you. Make sure you eat properly and most of all, Take it one day at a time. This will pass and things will return back to normal. Okay, thanks a lot for stopping by. I thought I'd just do a second video this week. Usually I just do one a week, but I thought, you know, I want to talk about the coronavirus and maybe it, this video will help some other people out there who are sort of don't know really what to do. They don't know really what to do about it. Okay, so this is, my name is Terry G. This is the Alcohol Free Life Channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time, okay? One day at a time. And as usual, look after yourself because it shows. I'll see you next time. Take it one day at a time. Pray for everybody that this coronavirus leaves us or somebody comes up with a cure to help us all. It's affecting the whole world. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it that we're living in these times. Okay, so one day at a time and I'll talk to you next week. Thank you very much for stopping by.